Torres. What's up, boo? Gang, what's up, Taurus? What's up, bulls, baby? What's popping? What's going on in life over Taurus for the month of October? Hmm. Hmm. Are you guys feeling like you lost out, was put out, or left out of something, or was, I heard, cheated out of something? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hey, boo, hey, if this first time you're on my channel, I'm Oka. Also, if this first time you're on my channel, look out, I cuss. So if cussing doesn't work out for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. Because the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that. Okay? Thank you for all the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the love, the donations, the readings. Thank you from the most humblest space ever. Also, if you're new to the family, hey, boo. Hey, new subscribers. Welcome to the family, y'all. <laughs> We're a little dysfunctional, okay? We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuz. We love, we laugh, we cry, we share, we evolve. Positive vibes only over here. Positive type things. Period. Okay? So, you guys, um, this is for the month of October. If you guys take what resonates, leave the rest for somebody who is going to resonate with. If that motherfucker shoe was too big, don't try and put it on. Your ass going to fall. Okay? That, we don't need you falling over shit and shit. You're supposed to be the ground of sinister. You ain't supposed to be falling over shit. Okay? Okay. All right, you guys, um, I love you so very much. To the returning subscribers, hey, family, I know y'all last thing think y'all was getting the video to Krimmel, but even if I wanted to be stubborn, because, you know, I'm an Aries, we both got horns, so can't nobody hit the head like I can hit the head, and for some reason, Aries energy is all over y'all, so a lot of y'all could be dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio, there's a lot of Mars energy with you all, people who you're dealing with could also have placements of Aries and Scorpio very heavily in their chart, but it was screaming at me while I was doing your messages. So I'm like, God, type things, okay? So you guys, this will be for Taurus again, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and as well as the Cross Watchers for the month of October. Let's get it, okay? Overall energy, you guys got the five of um, clubs and the six of hearts okay so some of you all this could have to do with something someone a situation that occurred in the past that you're having a hard time of letting go intuitively i feel with you all that some of you all are in situations that it's like you you've become a slave to your loyalty it's like you're holding on to situations that you know there is no more growth okay but for some of you all and, and, I, and i heard there's a stagnation of growth okay some of you guys feel as if you can't quite grow attached to another individual person or circumstance some of you all also may have been in situations in the month of september where you had to leave a job or you was forced to leave a job and you you're working somewhere now but you hate that place it's because you guys are moving away and literally being pushed off the damn cliff when it comes to the aspect of settling you deserve what it is that you want and it's not for you to tell yourself any differently some of you all spirit you guys spirit and the subconscious okay they don't they don't really some okay how can i put it Come ye as little children, yet, okay, you can't be trying to lose weight and then be saying shit like, let me get my fat ass to the track. No, because you're putting, the <laughs> them two don't go together, kind of like fear and faith. You got to pick a side. You can't walk with both of them, okay, because one deters the other, one, one, one blocks, one vibration is blocking or for that matter, causing this sense of disillusionment, you know, with the other. A lot of you all, this is about also accountability I'm hearing. And for some of you all, there's this, this shedding of this victim mentality or this mentality of just accepting things out of fear of fear of going after what you want, but knowing that what it is that you want is going to challenge you. So some of you all made an easy choice. And you're easily fucking bored with the easy choice that you made because some of the things that you I feel like some of you guys had a blessing that could have came in your life or a situation that was to bring a blessing in your life or to bring a shakeup or a massive change and a transformative period in your life and the opportunity wasn't taken. And for some of you all, you're finding out that you've been manipulated or that the opportunity was blocked uh, via the mind by some type of um, black magic or witchcraft. I'm going to say it because I be trying to hold back a lot of stuff and spirit is saying no more of that shit. Go ahead and lay it on the table. For some of you all, there's a need for you all to read up on shit. Instead of taking other people's word for it before you get yourself tied up and involved in things. Okay? Let's get it. So I'm going to start off with the Oceans on the Tarot. 
just to kind of see where my babies, where my boo was at, and they mind in their mind space, and just to practice for the month of October. So I heard a silent, I heard a silent plan. And some of you guys are secretly planning on walking away from a situation. I'm gonna say it. some of y'all may maybe taking the coward approach and not having a conversation, just actually just or wait until the last minute to have a conversation regarding the, your next move. Some of y'all heard make your next move your best move. Some of y'all are playing chess. Touche, pussycat. Come on, Taurus. Some of y'all could involve another earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I definitely feel Taurus is in the energy of balance and shit. Why that damn letting go thing went way over there? Hold on, y'all. All right. <sighs> okay. Y'all made me work for it. Some of y'all is working hard. And you're having a lot of blockages in your life from the cause of other people's bullshit. But some of you all, okay, in the month of October, some of you all are in this space of letting things go. You're letting go of what once was, what you thought things were to be. And for some of you all, this is about something or a situation letting you go, okay? Yeah, you're releasing the burdens. Some of you all are releasing releasing energies of people who you feel is just extremely burdensome. For some of you all, you may have been dealing with energy that was very controlling, uh, very demanding, okay? Some of you all are standing up for yourself in the month of October. You're going through a rebirth. You're finding your voice. You're finding your light. For some of you all, you're being used or another person or another situation is being used as a catalyst to walk you through this transformation that you've been fighting because towards a lot of you all have become very complacent. <laughs> very complacent in your stance as far as your future okay for some of you all you put yourself in this sense of a box or this sense of um like say for instance you're good at four or five different things okay maybe you just chose to focus on one thing but that one thing may not be growing like you anticipated it to grow however it's this sense of comfort because of course if i try something new or if i incorporate something new then i have to go through all that process oh you're looking at how much work that you have to do to grow a bit harder but to be i mean to grow a bit to grow to grow more but to be very honest with you you put that same work into finding that harmony in the first thing. So spirit is saying you become very complacent when it comes to aspect of aspects in which you know you need to trust yourself. Some of you all have this conditioning. Yeah, you're shedding you're shedding your skin towards. Some of you all may also be in this space of going back and really questioning your value structure. Like what did it, what is it that I value? What what do I believe in? What are my beliefs? Am I religious? Is religion the right way to go? For some of you all, the way that you have been conditioned in the mind, it's very exhausting to the soul. It's causing this sense of suppression. Some of you all feel as if you're trapped in this mental prison that no one can release you from because it's not. It's like you can't find. You're looking for this sense of safety, towards Like where is it safe? And for some of you all, you're running away from. First off, I just realized this. Some of y'all could be seeing a lot of nines, okay? But I notice here you got <laughs> Taurus is releasing shit. We letting it go. We're releasing holding on to shit. We're releasing becoming complacent. We're releasing this sense of a comfort zone. Because we know that allowing this rebirth is going to bring us harmony. But we have to learn to transmute that energy and transmute the things that we hold dear and the things that we hold in our heart and the things that we know that we deserve. We have to literally tell ourselves that in the mind to build this space of harmony, to recreate it. For some of you all, this is about finding harmony in a situation by speaking from your heart and believing that you can. Finding your voice to transform a situation that you thought was lost. But it's after releasing some type of burden. Some of you all have told yourself that holding on to this situation or releasing a particular situation is disloyal of you. But it's burdensome for you to keep carrying it. Especially when you're carrying it, feeling as if you missed out on your blessing. Spirit is saying, go get your blessing. Let that let that other shit go and go get your blessing. Because for one, this eight here is empty. People can do all the magic that they want to. But you can't change infinites. Period.
you guys are following finding your own existence in solitude. And for some of you all, this was a past life hurdle for you. Releasing situations was a past life hurdle for you. For some of you all, you're checking into your ancestry. Some of you got some of you all could also be digging into um, your ancestral roots. There's a lot of throat chakra energy that I'm seeing. a lot of blue that I'm seeing, a lot of green. So some of you all, this is about speaking from your heart space, a lot being active when it comes to the throat chakra. Some of you, this is also about not letting people project their fears onto you or there. Because some of you all, people are, you have people manipulatively trying to keep you in this space of being trapped or feel as if you're not going to be successful by the things that they say, but they're speaking to you out of this space of codependency to your damn energy because when you take it away, they're fucked. People don't know who the fuck they are trying to tell you who you are. And you believe them. Come on, boys. I'm going to need you to do better. This is why spirit wouldn't let me skip y'all energy. Let's get it. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? If some of you guys are masking your, masking your disappointments, masking your hurt up with substance, overindulging in substance, no more. Right now, I find that no more. You could, I ain't saying don't do what you do, but you don't have to overindulge in what you do. Spirit, what messages do you have for my bulls? Yeah. Some of you guys could be trying to work on a situation, or some of y'all are, are, are not. Know, some of you guys feel as if you're fighting yourself because you don't know if a situation is going to be worth reinvesting or if someone is going to reinvest. It's going to want to reinvest with you after some type of third party situation, okay? This could be you or another person. Some of you guys are, some of you guys are beating yourself up based on a decision that you did not make in the past when it came to some type of standing up for yourself or standing up for someone who you love, okay? Some of you guys could also be dealing with a third party situation. Um, or some of you guys could be working out a third party situation after some type of conflict occurred. In the month of October, possibly with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of you guys could also be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo. And I feel like some of y'all, some of you all have outside interference. Others of you could also be fighting with the fire sign over finances in the month of October. After some type of truth is revealed, okay, you guys are going to stand up and go get what the fuck was yours, what was taken from you. I heard cheated from you, okay? So for some of you all, this could have to do with children, okay? Some of you all, this has to do with property, homes, vehicles, some type of asset. I do feel things being rectified in your favor. For some of you all, you could be in internally fighting yourself regarding coming clean with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like, yeah. Like, either you or another person wants to charge in and express the way that they feel. Someone wants to say that I'm sorry. Someone wants to hold on to a situation. I'm hearing a blessing that they let go before, okay? For some of you all, you're releasing a situation with an air sign. And you could have been in a third-party situation with an air sign and an earth sign or an air sign and a water sign. Some third party is being released in order for tourists to follow their heart. In the month of October... For some of you all, you have a, you're dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you guys could want to start something new with this person, but you're indecisive on when to make a move. Or you're some of you guys are not making a move until you feel as if your money is right. Or someone feels as if they're not financially able to make a move towards you. But they don't know that this reconciliation is what brings blessings. It's a test. Some of you guys could be traveling to reconcile with the fire sign or air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Y'all, this is a past life relationship, okay? Or someone from your past who you could either share children with or you have children with already. Possibly after cutting off this damn air sign or cutting off, cutting off an offer to me and fences, okay? So some of you guys, some of you guys could have someone charging in. Some of you guys could also be dealing with an Aquarius, okay? And some of y'all, this is all about you getting what it is that you've been trying to manifest, but not manifesting from a space of fear or manifesting from a space of disbelief and what the hell you can't have. Tell yourself, I deserve it. It's mine. I want it. It's mine. I worked my ass off for it. I've done the self-work. It's mine. I keep hearing it's mine. Okay. Some of you guys could, uh, some of you guys could be finding, trying, to, trying to come to some type of compromise or some type of fair, fair situation. A fair compromise with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Others of you, there's talks about children and maybe your partner doesn't want children. 
and you wanting to know if it still if, if it makes sense to Taurus is doing what makes sense during this time. What makes sense to me practically, but you got you all are following your heart and finding some type of balance within the mind and the heart space. Others of you, this has to do with a wish being granted. You actually manifest in some type of reconciliation with either Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, after moving away from some type of air sign attachment or cutting off an air sign that was deceptive, okay? Some of y'all could have been in a relationship with somebody holding on to their ex for, for financial reasons. You're being made aware of someone's manipulation as well, okay? Yeah, some of you guys could also be taking a leap of faith to travel towards your damn empress. Some of you all, this is actually about you moving moving away from a job in which you've been working and working and working. And it still seems as if you robbed Peter to pay Paul. You're not growing the way that you want to grow. You're choosing to work for yourself and in doing so, voila, magic. Some of you all could have also been waiting to release yourself from a situation due to the fact that there was some type of transportation issue as well. For those of you who are waiting for some type of news about transportation, some type of place to live, I do see positive news when it comes to lease agreements, mortgages, as well as vehicles. I heard book. So some of you guys, some of y'all need to change y'all password on y'all social media accounts because you have a damn earth sign Capricorn towards Virgo on air sign hacking your accounts some of you all felt that if someone wasn't reaching out to you when actually the message was blocked okay some of you guys could be you know, you, some of you guys are juggling decisions in love you're not making a decision to fully deal with anybody out of this space of fear that you're going to be abandoned or hurt or neglected or rolled over on or used if you are a business owner I do see some of you guys are going to be receiving some type of offer towards I heard contract contract so some of you guys could be receiving some type of contract offers I see flourishing abundance for Taurus if you had any type of financial issues they're going away in the month of October you guys got to stop holding on to this lag mindset of stop speaking the B word Taurus broke is not is that that's not a word that my family uses we don't do that because you you literally bring broke to you we don't speak those words we don't speak those type things we speak building we speak life we speak prosperity we speak abundance we we speak magnificence into our life we speak phenomenal wonders into our lives okay some of you all this is about either you traveling towards an aries which you want to build something with this could also be a pisces libra um taurus like yourself cancer i do feel an opportunity it's coming back around towards, and this could have been some something that where the work wasn't put in before. Someone wants to put the work in now after some type of disappointment from another person. You guys are moving towards commitment. There's a transformation in a relationship that was already standing. Some of you guys could definitely be dealing with the fire sign, every deal, Sagittarius. Some of y'all are separated from somebody, and you got somebody else on the outside looking in who thought they had all these damn options, but. To be honest with you, I feel like whatever was a, whatever was a time moment in your relationship that could have came to bring things down, Spirit was giving you a get out of jail free call for you to cut a motherfucker off who has self esteem issues and looks outside of themselves for validation from other people, which could have been an issue in your relationship. And I feel like this person even projected their fears on you, making you feel as if you weren't good enough or what was wrong with you. Some of you all, this is about taking a chance. Yeah. Huh. For some of you all, Taurus, some of you all want to make an offer. Something's first off, I got the emperor and the empress around this bitch. So this is divine counterpart. Things that are, didn't I tell you, whatever, whatever is infinite will be. Taurus, you're standing in your power in the month of October. After taking it back from a motherfucker who <laughs> who told you that you weren't or who, who tore you down to build themselves up. You telling them, I know you fucking lying. Some of you guys... Some of you guys could be uh, trying to plan some type of trip as well across waters or across seas. Some of y'all is about plane, but you're going to a place that's tropical in the month of October. Others of you may also find out that you was left out of some type of family inheritance. I do see some type of legal aid being available and tourists going to go get their legal aid to go get what's theirs. And guess what? You're coming back with your motherfucking coin, okay? Some of y'all, this is about a job offer. 
It's an opportunity to present yourself towards, to show someone and yourself just how grand you are. Instead of focusing on what did not work out, look at how much you've built, how much work you've put into yourself and pat yourself on the back because you can't depend on nobody to be your fucking star player. You got to first be that. Self-mastery. This is about self-mastery. Reprogramming of the subconscious before beating yourself up about what you don't know. Unlearn everything that you do know that got you scared to jump off a cliff. In order to come back with your blessing. A situation has been transformed for you. It's up to you to walk fearlessly in co-creation with the universe to bring you what, what is supposed to be coming together. For some of you all, this could involve a Scorpio or the mother or father of your child. This could have to do with the transfer, with the renewal, with the renewal or the restructuring or the re transmutation of negative into positive in a in in an existing relationship. It got to be a Mercury retrograde coming because my word been fucked up. For others of you, some of y'all who could be finding out that you're pregnant, not knowing you want to keep a child, please keep the child, especially if you lost the child with the with the partner who you want to be with before. I do see a reincarnated child coming, a child that you lost coming through again, Taurus. Especially if you're dealing with the fire sign, Aries Leo Sag, strong Aries here. Some of you all, I heard wrong choice. Some of you all want to have something new with the Leo. Some of you all are rejecting the damn Leo who you have kids with because this person doesn't know how to. This person doesn't fit your requirements when it comes to fulfillment. I feel like some of y'all are dealing with somebody who just wants to party. They don't want to fucking build anything. And as soon as you release your energy and take your energy back from this person, this person is then, then going to want to come in and offer this newness. They want to transform a situation, but it's up to you to discern the difference between if I should or if I shouldn't. Okay? For some of you all, you're indecisive possibly between a fire sign and an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I do feel communication coming forward. And I feel like for some of you all, it's a sudden shock. I'm hearing sudden shock. Some of you all feel as if someone, you perceive that someone feels one way about you. But after actually stepping up and having a conversation, you're going to find that a person feels completely different. Some of y'all, someone separated themselves because they did not want to be hurt in a situation. Someone closed out a toxic cycle and allowed the other person to go through their own transition. And now theirs is coming together. Now that both parties recognize their what they added to the situation and how they added fuel to a fire that once destroyed a situation that's trying to be purged in order to be removed, cleansed, washed away, transformed, created. There was a lesson here of self-worth. There's a lesson here, Taurus, of what it is that you deserve. And the only person that can stand in your way of going to go get that is you by what you allow in your life and what you allow to keep you stagnant, okay? So the best advice from spirit, spirit, huh? Yes! Yes, bitch! Yes! Spirit says slow down. And I feel like this has more so to do with the mind space. A lot of you all may be seeing turtles during this time. Some of you all, it could be cardinal birds. Others of you, your sign is white birds, and others of you, your sign is butterflies, okay? Well, some of y'all is turtles and frogs, signifying abundance, slowing down and going back, going back and meditating on what was not done, how things could have taken the right turn, how you're going to express yourself, but not sitting too long in that shit, just slowing down in your approach and slowing down how much you're overthinking because some of y'all are over obsessing. About a, about a way that the offer is going to be presented. Yet you're, yet you're snooping and you're seeing that the, the longer that you wait, the more you miss. Now, Spirit is saying, follow your inner guidance. Listen to yourself. Fuck what everybody else is saying. Expansion comes from you trusting yourself. You are the high priestess. Some of y'all are dealing with a fucking high priestess or someone who's very psychic or very in tune with themselves. Someone is being guided. You're being guided to someone and they're being guided to let you in and receive you. So you have to trust the process because that process is bringing you abandonment. You ain't lost shit. It's only been postponed until you can find the courage to get out of your fucking head 
and just go with the flows of co-creating with the universe. Period. Okay? So I love you all. Y'all let me know how it resonates in the damn comments, honey. And also, if you need a personal reading, you guys send me that. You can find that information below in the damn description box. I'll see you guys mid-month. Um, and I love you a long time. Bye, babies.